If you just purchase a Wiser 3X, you should get a box just like this. Let's review what's inside. Okay, now let's check the contents of her case. The first thing you're gonna notice is your calibration certificate for your Wiser 3X. This certificate is unique for each device. You will also find your Wiser 3X, accessories like cables, an extra accelerometer in case if you purchase Wiser Vive, a laser tachometer, and a magnetic base. Let's start by checking your first item, your new Wiser 3X. Remember, the Wiser 3X consists of three main parts. First, the hood or the cap, where you can find the Wiser logo. Then, we find the metallic base, where we can find multiple elements. In the first segment, you will find the Wiser logo and its serial number. This number is unique for each device. We can also find the axis. These axes indicate the direction the accelerometers are pointing to. It is very important that when you place it on the machine, make sure your axes are correctly oriented. We can also find another port here. This port can connect the charging cable, our fourth accelerometer, which can serve as a reference, and a laser tachometer. Lastly, we have the power button. Turning on the wiser is very simple. Just press the button once, and it will light up blue to indicate it's on and can connect to any device. To turn it off, simply press the button for three seconds until the light goes off indicating the wiser is indeed off. The magnetic base is made of neodymium magnets, allowing for a strong attachment to metal structures. The magnetic base can be removed. You can unscrew and separate its components. Here you will find a fine thread quarter inch screw that can be perfectly screwed into the surface of our motors. Additionally, the hood or the cap for the wiser 3X can be removed. We can also unscrew it. This gives us access to the internal electronic components. At the top, you will find the cover secured with three screws. These screws can be removed, giving us access to the batteries. These batteries are model CR123. You can find them in practically any electronic store, and they are very easy to access. However, they all have a lifespan but it's very easy to change thanks to this, to this axis. Besides the Wiser, we will find these three other components. This is a charging cable exclusive to Wiser devices. To connect it, we will locate the red dot on this lemma connector and match it with the red dot on the Wiser. And that's it. Now, this connector is completely secured to our charging cable. The charging cable leads to this box that indicates if the Wiser is charged and has a small connector for a mini USB cable. This cable is included in your package and can be connected to this port. It also includes a charger cube that you can connect to the USB end and plug it into the wall to start charging your wiser. The charging process takes about two hours and provides enough energy for up to eight hours of continuous use. To remove the limo cable, press firmly where the red dot is and pull it out. If you purchase your Wiser 3X with the DJ5M20 version, it will include an accelerometer that you can use as a 4-channel. It is important to note that this accelerometer must be a 3-pin accelerometer. This accelerometer also includes a neodymium magnet base for attachment to any metal structure. In your package, you will find a cable with a 3-pin connection that goes directly to our accelerometer. It also has a thread to secure it. The other end is a limo type connector that goes directly to the Wiser 3X. Remember to find the red dot and match it to the red dot on the Wiser. If you purchase the Wiser 3X with the DJ5M10 version, it includes a laser tachometer. The laser tachometer has a 5 pin connector and comes with its respective cable. To connect it, Simply align the five pins. Ensure that the part with the stop aligns with the tab on the connector. Secure it well in the metal thread to the connector. 
To connect it to the wiser, match the red dot on the tachometer with the red dot on the wiser. Another useful accessory that you will find if you bug the wiser to actual with the M10 version is a magnetic base for the tachometer. This magnetic base is for positioning your laser tachometer near your machine. Remember, the magnetic base is deactivated when first opened. To activate it, turn this knob towards the direction labeled ON. Another accessory you might find is a nut for the positioning coin. When we remove the magnetic base for a wiser sensor, this coin helps secure it in case you need to screw it into a surface. Place this coin over the nut and secure it on a motor. This key will help tighten it securely. Lastly, you will find a USB drive containing our software. This USB includes not only your installation files, but also your license codes in PDF format. If you require more information about your new Wiser 3X, remember that you can visit www.airbrush-instruments.com for more information.